Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With Purpose. Today I'm gonna to share with you some clips and some pictures from our daycare Halloween party yesterday. And I'm doing this as part of a collab with Haley from Haley's Home. Definitely suggest to check out her channel. She shares hauls, meal ideas, and some daycare content as well. So definitely check her out. I'll leave her link down in the description below. So if you're new here, my name is Krista and I'm a home childcare provider for up to five children every day between the ages of one and four. On my channel, I share tips and tricks, all things related to childcare, shopping hauls, and the odd family vlog. So without further ado, let me show you some of the things we were up to yesterday. This morning I set up a spider web for one of the games we're gonna play. And I wanted to make sure that all the children could participate from my youngest to my oldest. So the youngest students will roll the colored dice. So then they will look for the color that they roll and then they'll put the spider on the corresponding color. And my older children the older children will roll the letter dice and they'll look for the corresponding letter. So what did you get, Emma? L. L. Good job. So can you find an L and put your spider on top? Where is it? Perfect. You did find it. Nice job. Which one's heavier? This one's heavier. Oh, you're gonna put it in the middle? Oh no! Who's heavier? This is heavier. The pumpkin is heavier than the spider? Oh, what letter did you get? C! Do you see a C? Nice job! Yay! Okay, put the spider. Find the purple. Can you put it on the purple? Good job! I got so much candy. So much candy. So much candy in there? Oh, you got two. Two, good. Let's One. put two scoops inside your pumpkin. One. All right, your turn. One. Okay, put one scoop inside your pumpkin. So I wanted to show you a really fun activity that we did yesterday that works on fine motor and the children absolutely love this. For this activity, we just used mini pumpkins and colored elastics. And then the children decorated their pumpkins with the elastics. And this was actually really, really hard for some of the children, but they were super engaged the whole time. 
They loved experimenting with the elastics and seeing how they could stretch them. They worked at this activity for over half an hour and they were so happy with the results. We're making a spider craft next and we're actually going to make it into a little bit of a math game by rolling a dice and seeing who gets eight legs first. What did you get? Two. Two. Okay, so you're gonna get two legs. Can you choose two legs from the pile? One. Perfect. All right, do you wanna glue them on your spider? All right, there you go. Can we count them together? One, two, three, four. How many did you get this time? Let's count it together. One, two, count again. One, two, count. let's try again. One, two, one, two, three. Three spider legs, one, Two, three. How many legs does your spider have now? Two. Let's count them. You just put two more on, but how many do you have all together? One, count with me. Two, count, count with me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we need eight. So you need one more leg and your spider is all finished. Nice cutting. Oh, I think you have to flip it around the other way. Super simple snack today. Just cheese cut out with Halloween shapes. And then a little piece of banana with some chocolate chips for a ghost. <laughs> Paint your cat. You found one on the telephone. Have you pop it to me bag? The next activity is just a container from the dollar store. And I strung some string to make a spider web. And I gave each of the children some tweezers. So they're going to practice rescuing the spider using the tweezers. Mark, go. get set, go. go. Careful, careful. Go. Oh dear, go back. Balance, careful, careful. Go, so close. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out Haley at Haley's Home. I'm Krista from Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.